Thanks for coming to check out our channel. This is Tim with Outdoors for Adventure. In this video, we have left Talamina Scenic Drive to head home. On our way home, we found a forest road that I decided we would go check out. The first part of the road wasn't all that bad, but as we got deeper in, it did get worse. The ruts are a lot bigger than they seem in this video. The steepness is a lot steeper than it looks in the video. But the Jeep Cherokee Trailhawk did fabulous. We did end up having to go into low range so we could keep our speeds low and creep over the, the rocks and stones. There were some ledges that we had to go over, but all in all, we made it through the trail unscathed. There was one area of the trail that had a tree across it, and I do always take a chainsaw, and I had it in the back, but there was enough room that the Cherokee just did fit under. I did have to take my Rotopax gas can off of the rack that I had mounted up top because there's no way it would have fit. So we just, maybe by about an inch, made it underneath that tree. And it was getting dark. I didn't do a lot of video uh, of the trail there at the last because uh, we were in familiar territory and we was wanting to get off of it before it got dark. And we knew we were close to uh, Highway 259. So uh, we just went ahead and got underneath that tree. We came to a pretty nice creek crossing. And after you crossed the creek, you went up a really steep climb and it had some uh, rock ledges and some big stones to go over. And actually it was hanging on for dear life, but the Jeep Cherokee crawled over all of it with no issues at all. I think through the whole trail we had tire slippage in two places. One place we had just went through some mud and immediately hit a stone shelf. So the tires were slick. Once the tires cleared themselves where they could get some traction, we made it over the rocks, over the ledge with no issue. Uh, again, uh, we found a spot that has some pretty big stones, boulders, that we had to go over. And there was a couple places there that they were in loose gravel and the tires spun kicking stones, you know, out from underneath the tires. But like I said, we did make it through the trail. Uh, I believe that trail was just a little over six miles and it took us uh, an hour and a half I believe we might have averaged four miles an hour on that. We did lose and gain elevation through the whole route, but it was a lot of fun. Uh, we did get some uh, limbs that brushed against the Cherokee, but luckily there's no pinstripes. What little is there will buff out pretty easy. And uh, one thing I was really thankful for is the size of this Cherokee. Uh, it makes it pretty easy if you need to turn around off of trail that you went down it's just become too much. Normally you can find a place to turn around because it's not so big. Now before we hit this trail and before we uh, went to Talamina uh, Scenic Drive, we went through the west end of the Ouachita National Forest on forest roads. Uh, I think we entered somewhere north of Wicks and uh, kind of went up the west boundary and went all the way to Mina and we stopped in Mina at the coffee house and for Ashley to get some yarn at the new yarn store there before we went on up and followed Talamina Scenic Drive. Now all these videos will be coming soon. I'm starting kind of backwards, 
because I've already uploaded just a teaser of us going down that rough trail and that was the roughest trail or this is the roughest trail that we did experience the other horse roads are pretty smooth uh, great views water crossings especially if it's wet weather you're going to have water crossings that are deeper but we did have a few we did find some great camping spots uh, one really nice creek crossing that goes up a hill and uh, down a trail and we're going to go back and hit that trail sometime but basically uh, you know we just went out for a day trip we put a lot of miles on Cherokee and uh, the Cherokee got us back home safe and sound after uh, going down all those horse roads and that pretty rough trail. So it didn't let us down. I'm really impressed in it. The 4x4 system just grips and goes, climbs like a mountain. Very road. rocky. So I hope y'all enjoy the video. Don't forget to subscribe while you're here. It's real simple, just hit that button. And uh, you know, it encourages us, it helps us get more videos on the channel. But just thanks for watching. Y'all have a great day.
Hey, this has been a pretty serious trail. We've actually done some rock climbing. This part's not too bad. You see it goes around and then down there. But it's uh, been some big rocks. So far, the Cherokee's handled it just fine, but it's rougher than heck. Slow go. Some guys will love it. Okay, we made it out of this trail. This is one of the roughest trails I put the Cherokee through so far. Uh, very slow go, lots and lots of rocks, uh, some shelves, some mud. One that you really probably shouldn't go on by yourself, but we did make it back out to the main road. It was a fun trail, but it would have been, I would have felt better if I would have had someone with me. But anyway, we're going home. <laughs>